everyone once again welcome to my oit channel today we will see one of the role play which appeared uh, on the exam the date is 10 september 2022 so this scenario is happening in emergency department and i will read you the settings for you you see a 65 year old patient who has broken his or her right shoulder there is a proximal humerus fracture due to a fall at home and she came to the emergency department complaining of pain and you are getting some information from the patient and you are giving some advices and information. So here he or she has been given a sling to wheel and is now ready for discharge. That means it's already happened. It's finished already. You are giving information about aftercare and healing process. Okay. So what I want to explain you here first means this is a non-case scenario same like our non-case letter uh, nowadays we have non-case role play also most of the students they are unaware about this matter and this is addition happened so how we can find out whether this is a non-case or not non-scenario or not we have given he or she has been given a sling it's already given to wear and is now ready for discharge so already you know the patient you already started to talk and even you gave the sling and uh, ready for discharge now you are talking about aftercare at home so this is the first thing you have to keep it in your mind whether it is a non scenario or a non scenario now we can go to the task the first task is give reason for seeing patient information on aftercare and healing and find out how patient is feeling about going home still patient is in emergency department so what you have to do during three minute preparation time you have to ask patient's name how may I address you during the role play? Example, patient's name is Maria. Then, what we can, uh, how we can start? Um, good morning, Maria. How are you feeling now? That's enough. No need for your self-introduction because you are the one given the slings and you are the one uh, taking care uh, currently. Then, you have to tell that. Actually, I came here uh, for giving some information on aftercare and healing process uh, about your current situation or for your wound is it okay to discuss with you that patient is telling that okay sister i am fine actually it's okay fine you can uh, inform me regarding the aftercare find out how patient is feeling about going home then we can ask may i know how you are feeling about going home now then give information about care of shoulder so that means you are asked the feelings then patient may told you that uh, it's okay fine sister i'm happy to go home and i can take care by myself uh, at the home then you can tell that give then the next task is that give information about care of shoulder like immobilization of arm with sling for three weeks painkillers and analgesia maintaining mobility of elbow wrist and fingers etc and find out if patient is in any pain so we can tell that uh, well uh, miss maria i will give you the information regarding your shoulder care here you should not tell that uh, you have to immobilize your arm with sling or something you need to you have to these things and all you have to avoid how we can present please immobilize your arm with the sling which i have provided to you for three weeks and it's essential for you to have any painkillers or analgesia as per your doctor's prescription. Also, it is essential for you to maintain your mobility of elbow, wrist and fingers to prevent further complications. Are you follow with me? Are you follow or are you getting my point or is it clear? Like that we can ask. So here you have to, uh, you have to inform like that it is beneficial for you to, it is essential for you to, it is important for you to or please. So these things and all you can remember from your letter recommendation, the same format. Then we can ask, uh, may I know Miss Maria, are you in any pain? Then, then the patient is telling that, um, yes sister, I, I, I am still on pain, but it is bearable one. Then if the patient is telling that, yes, it is very severe or I can't bear the pain or something, means there will be some more information. But what is your next task? Give further advice on care of shoulder example pain relief regularly three to four days then as required application of ice pack 15 minutes every few hours extra support when sleeping that means patient told you that there is pain so we can tell that 
no need to worry miss maria this is quite normal for everyone those who have injury in on shoulder and at your home i i would like to tell you some pain relief measures like um, regularly 3 to 4 days you can have your medication as per your doctor's instruction thereafter as required whenever you have pain you can have the tablet moreover you can apply ice pack 15 minutes every few hours also you can have extra support when you are sleeping with additional pillows how does that sound like that we can ask then find out about patient's job if retired or working type of work any strenuous activities something like that so uh, of course the patient is 65 years old so of course we can hope that patient is retired then we can ask that um, if you don't mind, may I ask you, what is your job? Are you working or are you a retired person? Um, because I would like to know about uh, your activities at home. Then maybe patient is telling that, no, sister, I am a retired person and I am in uh, only in home. But occasionally I am working in my garden. Then we can tell that I am happy to know that you are in a retirement life and you don't have any strainers uh, work in your home. Uh, then the next stage is give a likely stages for recovery. That means patient have asked something. Then we can ask, do you have any concern? Then uh, you can, then you can, uh, then maybe she told that, um, uh, what is the recovery period, sister? I would like to know that how long it will take for my complete recovery. Then we can tell that, Miss Maria, I can truly understand your concern. Actually, uh, your injury, uh, maybe it will take the healing process. It will take. The healing process of fracture is six to eight weeks. You can resume driving after only after two to three months. And your full range of motion or the strength can be regained after three to four months. So this is the recovery stage. I hope it's clear for you. Then patient may tell, uh, tell that yes, it's clear for me. Then we can tell that Miss Maria, um, of note, I would like to give you some uh, advices um um really i'm sorry to tell you that please away from driving before uh, uh driving until three weeks and i would like to tell you that if you uh, resume driving before two to three week, two to three months there is a chance of uh, further injury or there may be a longer recovery time period so i'm strongly recommending you to avoid driving for two to three months are you okay with that? You can ask. The patient is telling that is, of course, I can uh, wait for the time period. Then you can tell that also uh, you are in restricted movement. Um, so inadequate control of uh, inadequate control of vehicle. So that means um, you have already uh, in a restricted movement. And if you are go for um, any driving or anything, there is a again there is a chance of uh, risk or any complications so before that please arrange your um, transportation of anything that is the meaning okay then outline next step so what is the next step then we can tell that i hope i have clarified all your doubt and i i i, I let me explain you what is the next process you will be having a follow-up appointment in two weeks and um, also the physiotherapy will be initiated in six weeks so you will be uh, in in an uh, completely in a resting period in between you can have the uh, range of motion exercises by the physiotherapist and in two weeks you can have the appointment with your gp or in the hospital so that they can have the review for your improvement is it okay for you then patient is telling that yes, it's okay, sister. I can come for the review, and of course, I can follow up the physiotherapy sections. Then we can tell that thank you so much, Maria, for accepting all my advices. I hope I have clarified all your doubts. If you have any doubts, uh, please um, uh, call me. I I will come and assist you. And uh, uh, if you don't have any other clarifications, may I proceed with the procedure, uh, with the discharge procedure, because you are. Here for discussing with the discharge process. So you can tell like the cost illustration is in emergency department. So you can ask, uh, you can tell that if you have any problem, you can just call me. And I hope now for now, uh, everything it is clear. So may I proceed with the discharge process. 
then patient is telling that his sister you know having other concern you can proceed you can uh, wind up with thanksgiving that is only the role play and uh, here this is an emergency department so you have to be take care um while giving the suggestions because it should be in a polite manner and should be like in reassurance manner and of course the one if the phrase if it is one means you should not tell that you should do you have to do not like that i am sorry to tell you that if you didn't follow my instruction there may be the chance for getting a uh, complication so in that way you have to present so i hope this uh, role play is um, clear for you and we will see with another one informative video until then bye take care